Hi Aquarius, welcome to your general forecast for the month of April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So welcome every uh, Aquarius, hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy at this time. So we're going to take a look at the energies around you at this time. Could be general, could be love, could be work, career, finance, could be anything. We are just going to take it as it comes. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching, doesn't matter. It could be past, present, or future energies. Please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. If it's not fitting, if it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. Either hold out for next readings or you can check the description box below for your love in general playlist. And feel free to go back and watch past readings. I do consider them all timeless. Um, and you can find a lot of other stuff down there. Also, Aquarius decks I'm using, links to purchase them if you choose to purchase them for yourself. Uh, my social media, uh, social media links are down there, as well as how to reach out for personal reading if you would like a personal reading. And if you would like to uh, tip, donate, send a gift, or anything like that, that info is below. Also, some of that is pinned to the top comment. If you're not comfortable using PayPal, if you would like to tip or anything like that, Super Chat is open and available during the premiere only for tips, donations, or energy exchanges if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. So Aquarius, Aquarius, please don't try to make this fit. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Please don't leave me negative comments. I will delete them. All right, Aquarius, Aquarius. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet for Aquarius spirit, please. What is going on with Aquarius at this time? Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, that one definitely almost flew out. So we have the sun. We have the sun energy. So it's Leo energy. So the sun um, is all about, hap in the tarot, it's all about happiness, joy, success, victory, healing, enlightenment, um, everything positive with the sun. But in the zodiac, it's all about... Um, who you truly are, your originality, your soul mission, your soul purpose, being true to who you are. So that is the your identity. So that is who you are. So let's see, being needing to be true to who you are, Aquarius, maybe? I don't know. So let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Or some of you could be dealing with a Leo in some way, shape, or form, or have Leo in your chart. All right, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Maybe somebody, you know somebody who has heavy Leo in their chart. All right, so let's get an opening. We're going to get an opening message with this deck, and then I'll pull another one for your energy. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot, and then we'll look at the situation, whatever comes out here, advice, possible outcome, bottom of the decks, and then we'll get some extra messages with the work your light at the end. So what is going on? with Aquarius. What is the opening message for Aquarius, please? Thank you so much. Opening message for Aquarius. Oh, there we go. So we have the altar priestess, preparation, prayer, sacred ritual. We have 39 there, which is 11, which is being on the divinely guided right path, knowing that you're on the right path. So some of you, um, you know, maybe becoming a light worker or doing some uh, spiritual um, ceremonies, nothing like weird or anything like that, but um, like very like spiritual work, divination work or things like that, being a medium, um, a Reiki healer, anything to do with the spirit world realm or in some way, shape or form. Maybe some of you are preparing to go down that journey. All right, so let's see. Or maybe some of you just need to um, pray, meditate, connect uh, to your intuition, your higher self, the spirit world kind of energy. All right. Okay, I'm feeling that one. Let's see what your energy is like. Well, you know what? I don't feel like comfortable taking that one now that I see it. All right, so let's see, Aquarius, Aquarius. I grabbed it, but I don't, I don't think Spirit said that wasn't the right card. I just grabbed it because it was there, but the right one will come out for you, Aquarius. What is the energy Aquarius is in? One card for Aquarius for their energy, Spirit. Oh, there we go. 
the Swan Queen. So we have transformation, intuition, and patience. And we have 13 there, which is four, which is about stability. And we do have intuition in the altar priestess. So I feel like some of you are gearing up here to go down some sort of spiritual path, awakening, um, or maybe a new career or a little side career or something like that. Maybe transforming it into a new... Uh, maybe light worker abilities, or could even be making your own um, products at home in some way, shape, or form. But needing patience with yourself in this journey and listening to your intuition. And we have the word Lord, communication, praise, and dishonesty. We have 33, which is seven, which can be about, um, again, seven is about being spiritually guided and it's a very spiritual energy. I feel like some of you have been dishonest with yourself, your abilities, your capabilities, what you feel you are being led to do in life. That maybe you would be looked upon as uh, crazy or something like that. But now with the sun energy, I think some of you may be following your true identity, who you truly are, your soul mission, your soul purpose. Uh, your uniqueness, what makes you you. And it could be spiritual communication here. It's like the word Lord. It's like the universal energy, universe's energy in the word to you that this is the path you're meant to go down. And you may have praise come your way because we do have the word praise. So let's see what is going on with you, Aquarius. You might have been like the black swan, the black sheep of the family. But now you're turning into this beautiful white swan. I feel like, you know, your heart's in the right place. It's coming from a pure, honest place. But everybody looked at you as a black swan or a black sheep of the family, perhaps. All right. One more shuffle for you, Aquarius. What is this energy for Aquarius? All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups can talk about regret, sadness, hurt, loneliness. And the Knight of Pentacles is taking a very slow, practical approach, moving forward very carefully, um, being very analytical. It's a very slow, practical, grounded approach. So... Some of you could have, you know, felt sad and like empty inside because you didn't feel like you were able to follow in your life mission or purpose. Like maybe deep down all your life, you knew exactly who you were, what you could do, what you were meant to do, but you didn't go down that path because of what everybody else thought, perhaps. But now you're slowly coming out of, and I see this right here. It's like slowly coming out of your shell and realizing, you know, that it is okay. So maybe you're, you know, you're taking a very slow approach into this like transition, transformation. All right, so let's see what other energy is here for Aquarius. So we have the nine of wands. So you feel a little beat up, like you've been through it. And the lovers, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a lover lover, or maybe you did have a significant other that um, either supported you or disapproved of what you were doing. Um, but you got the nine of wands here, so you, you feel like it's been a struggle, a battle, a fight to do this, but not giving up. It's like, I'm not giving up. I'm still moving on. It's, it's a slow approach. It's slow moving. But uh, making a conscious choice, the lovers can be about making a choice of what's best for you, best suited for you. So making a choice here, follow your heart, what you would love to do. That's best suited for you. What else here for Aquarius? For Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles. So there you go. There's your stable new beginning. It's like you see the abundance, the prosperity, the stability of what you do moving forward for, for the long term. Something you can go, do for a lifetime. It's built on a firm foundation. Stability moving forward. It's okay to um, receive compensation for your gifts. Maybe you were told you couldn't. 
eight of pentacles. So, and I, and I just said that this is working, working and, uh, it's all about material monetary. So it's okay to get monetized for your craft, for your work, for your gifts. It's okay. The eight of pentacles there with the ace of pentacles. So that's your stable new beginning for the long term. And here you are like reaching for that pentacle in the sky and the stars that you see, like fighting for it and not giving up. Slow moving, but I feel like you feel like empty, just sad and empty because you were not able to live your life mission, your life purpose out. And now you feel like you're finally at a place where you can finally make slow movement forward in that direction for some of you. So let's see your actual situation. Two of Pentacles. So maybe feeling, you know, a little out of sorts, a little uh, juggling around, juggling things around, like what I need to change, what I need to do, what I need to learn, what I need to leave behind kind of energy, making all changes to balance things out. So here's Page of Wands. So here's some good news. So it could be a new offer coming in that you're very excited about. Fiery, passionate communication or offer or good news that comes in in some way, shape, or form that leads to clarity here. It leads to some sort of divinely guided clarity, total transformation, cutting things out no longer serving you, so making those necessary changes to balance things out. Could have start with a message that comes in or an offer. Standing up for yourself, telling it like it is. Successful new beginning here. Based on truth and clarity. Divinely guided energy. All right, so what else here? It's right in the middle of your spread. What else here for Aquarius? Six of Wands, so there you go. Success, victory, accomplishment, receiving accolades, attention, kind of energy. People looking up to you, standing on top of the mountain here. Wow, okay. What else here for you? Aquarius, Aquarius, Eight of Wands. So taking action, travel, action, communication, being very excited, passionate about this. So you're in the uh, process now of taking action towards success and victory based on big clarity, big aha moment, epiphany. Because you have the so sword, brand, brand new beginning, sword of success, victory here. As you balance things out, release things, uh, learn things, whatever you need to do here to balance out, whatever you need to balance out to make this work. And again, it could have came from uh, some sort of offer or a good news that came in of some sort of communication. All right, so, or somebody may be encouraging you, helping you, um, also mentoring you even. All right, so, what is the possible outcome here? King of Wands, so being very fiery, passionate about what, what you do, not afraid to take action and stand up and go for it, go for what you want, being a leader, the fool, so taking a leap of faith, jumping right in. Taking this leap of faith, this is your advice. So stand up for what you want, go after what you want, let it drive the ambition and passion and take this leap of faith. Three of Pentacles. So again, you could be learning something new or working with others, teamwork, collaboration. So you could be working with others or learning something new here to master your craft. This is your advice. So if there's more you need to learn, or you feel like you need to work with others or work with mentors or something like that. It's telling you to go for it. A lot of drive, ambition, and passion and take this leap of faith. That's your advice. One more. And be a king of pentacles. Wow. King of wands, king of pentacles. So having the drive, ambition, the ideas, or creativity, and divine connection, and also being smart, practical, analytical, grounded, abundant, prosperous for the future. In the king of pentacles energy being being you know you're we've got the entrepreneur energy here and then we have the king of the domain over here making the pentacles the abundance being smart and practical and grounded wow so this is your advice to be smart practical and grounded and wise and fiery and passionate take this leap of faith and do what you need if you learn to need, need to learn something new or work with some a, a mentor or something like that almost like apprenticeship energy, 
then spirit's telling you to do it here. So what is a possible outcome here for you, Aquarius? The world. So having the world at your fingertips, having uh, closing out cycles that no longer fulfilling for you, um, that no longer make you happy, changing all that, changing your world, and starting over and transforming and having a new beginning and a new cycle, a new cycle in life. What else here? The star. So, oh my God. Divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true, healing energy. You could be a healer to the world. <laughs> wow. In some way, shape, or form. Wow. You could be like a Reiki master or energy healer or long distance healer or something like that or definitely something in the spiritual world because the star is very spiritual and you have the world. Wow, Aquarius. So let's get one more for your possible outcome. I'm getting like healer of the ages and the magician. Are you kidding me right now? So manifesting this brand new beginning for yourself because this is crazy because you have the world and right after the world become is the fool. Right after the fool comes the magician. Wow, that's just crazy. manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself here three majors here this is something major for you Aquarius a major transition major transformation major new start in life major energies here you have the power and the tools and the energy to be a world healer of some kind and I'm not saying you're going to heal the world but to help heal those around the world in some way, shape, or form. Wow. Wow. Okay, so what is... And that's like the word, Lord, this is just like the universe saying, you know, this is the word. <laughs> the word. <laughs> wow. So what's on the bottom here? So we have the Ace of Cups. So there's that divine spiritual energy, brand new beginning of total spiritual love, self-love, peace, happiness, joy, and fulfillment in every single way. To your Ten of Cups, are you serious right now? Ace to the Ten. Happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. Temperance, angel here bringing in what's divinely guided for you. Having patience, balance, peace, and harmony. The Hermit, so you may still need to do some more inner reflection here. Self uh, journey work, the Hermit, introspection. And maybe really still releasing uh, some energies here, no longer serving you with the Ten of Wands, burning some energies, especially with the Two of Pentacles energy. I had that feeling of, you know, releasing things, no longer serving you and um, bringing energy to you that will serve you or learning new things, whatever you need to let go of or bring into your life to balance all this out. It's a Ten of Wands energy, Page of Pentacles. So again, it could be an offer of some kind. Uh, monetary or um, career-wise or something like that, very stable, grounded offer to a cup, something totally aligned for you, totally aligned for you that will bring you, again, happiness, joy from within, love, self-love. The emperor, empress, here we go. So again, being your own boss, being owner of your own domain of some kind here, being a leader, getting like a world leader of some kind here. Wow. And the Queen of Pentacles. So we have the King over here. Now we have the Queen, which is a match. So some of you could be with a divine counterpart also. Maybe you'll be working together in some way, shape, or form. Or a double confirmation here of you being very stable and grounded for the future. So the Queen of Pentacles here is um, Capricorn. And then we have Aries. Let's see. I'll just go over the signs quick. That means anything to anyone, Virgo, Sagittarius. Um, let's see. We have the world here, which is Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. We have your energy here. We have Gemini and Virgo with the magician. King of Pentacles here is Virgo again. Aquarius again with the fool. The King of Wands here is Sagittarius. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. What else do we have? The Ace. The Lovers is Gemini. 
the Knight of Pentacles there is uh, Taurus. So those are the, all the energies that I see. So we have double, a lot of double signs here, uh, Sagittarius, plus we have Leo with the sun. So, wow. Okay, let's get some extra messages for you, Aquarius. I feel like coming into your power here and being some sort of world leader or healer or healing those around the world, I don't know, something like that. Finally coming into your soul mission, soul purpose in life coming into your abilities and using them for betterment. All right, so let's see here, Aquarius. No, no, Aquarius, some extra, I do ask Aquarius, if you're new, you like my style and how I read, please feel free, oh my God, I can't make this up. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. I love to read the comments. You get about five readings a month. I do a love reading, a general reading like this. I do a singles love reading. I do messages from spirit. What you need to know at this time, I do a bonus reading where I take a little bit of uh, a look at love and then life and then advice for you. So if you're interested in that, hit the bell, sub, and you won't miss out if you do. Thank you. So first message we have here, awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. I can't make this up, Aquarius. <laughs> it's like a big awakening of who you truly are, what your abilities are, what you're meant to do in this life, what your purpose is, especially with the sun there. Wow, a new way of being, energetic upgrades, awakening. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius, what other messages for Aquarius? Mintakin, longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. So I'm telling you, some of you Aquarians are a light worker and you've been awakened to those abilities. Wow, can't make this up. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? I said that at the beginning, that some of you felt like you couldn't follow your soul mission and purpose in life because you were looked at as like the black sheep, the oddball, crazy, or whatever. So you dimmed your light to fit in, fit into the world, instead of shining your light and your abilities and your light worker abilities or whatever your gifts are. It's like the universe planned it out for you from the beginning that you were meant to do this the word Lord there, but you were dishonest with yourself. On the bottom here, we have Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. So you have all this energy around you, your spirit guides, your angel teams, ancestors, passed over loved ones, ascended masters, archangels. It's like your Council of Light is your support team here, trying to give you this divine orchestration to help you in your journey. Wow. It's a big message for you, Aquarius. Wow. Okay, Aquarius, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I hope this resonates for someone. Leave me some comments. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. I don't know if I said that. I said it again. And um, as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.